All right, we are live, and we are uh, we have Nicole on with us tonight, and we uh, we made it. We were we we're trying to um, make sure everything got right right and uh, was working correctly. So we are live, and super super excited to have her on here to share her story, um, and uh, maybe just do a little quick introduction for those who've made, maybe never watched one of these. Um, the reason why we like to do these is so that people can share their stories and can share their experience of what's helped them be, be successful on the program uh, for maybe those who are, are joining the program to really get some good advice from. So, all right, so Nicole, let's jump right in and, and let's, uh, let's get started. So tell, uh, maybe just give us a little quick introduction about you and kind of maybe just where you were at before you started the program. Okay. Uh, my name is Nicole Opperman, and I'm a busy mom of three kids. Um, I, so one of my friends joined the program and had a lot of success with it. And so she kind of got me thinking um, over the last six months prior to that, I had um, spent quite a bit of time researching um, different things that I could do. I realized that I'd kind of let myself go. Um, my kids uh, really became the priority and everyone around me became the priority. And I, you know, just kind of took a back seat and really kind of let myself go. So I decided it was time to do something. Yeah, awesome. So, so before that, how do you, I mean, I guess you, it doesn't sound like you had tried much or had you tried things before that? Um, I had, I've done Weight Watchers. I tried a couple other things here and there um, and nothing really seemed to stick and not, maybe that wasn't necessarily the program. Maybe it was more myself, <laughs> um, but I just kind of, you know, would do it for a little while and, you know, have a little bit of success and then just kind of go back to the way it was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, okay. So you obviously did a little research. I know you had a friend, friend join who, who saw yeah. some great progress. So we talked on the phone, obviously we, we, you started the program. What was it that kind of, I guess for you, um, was like the catalyst that was like, okay, I, I'm going to do it. Like what, what kind of was that, that factor? Um, what was the factor? Well, I, my friend did it. And like I said, she had a lot of success and I was like, you know what? she's busy too. She has kids. She's going crazy. Like I am like, if you know, if she could do it, uh, I should be able to do this. Like, and I knew that I needed to do something. Some things health wise were kind of going awry and I was tired of feeling the way I was feeling. So for me, that was yeah. like, okay. After I heard about the program and um, kind of that benefits of it, I'd been looking at anti-inflammation diets and things like that. And so that was kind of like, okay, we're going to do this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very cool. And I, I know, uh, I know we've seen some, some fun things happen. Obviously when we talk about inflammation and yeah. all that stuff, uh, you know, I, I know we'll, we'll get to that. I'm excited to kind of have you share a little bit about what happened. So, okay. So you start yeah. the program uh, and you're, you're going through it now your life. Uh, <laughs> hopefully it's okay to bring up <laughs> yeah. thing that your life kind of got turned upside down <laughs> as you kind of started the program. Yeah. Um, and so maybe tell us a little bit about that and, and kind of, it, and, and maybe segue into like, what were some of the things you were doing to, to still be successful? Well, we kind of had, we had a flood in the house. We had a pipe burst in our basement and, you know, it's a finished basement like most homes here in Eastern Idaho. And, um, I have two kids that live down there, our family rooms down there and it flooded pretty severely. Um, and you know, kids bedrooms, the family room. And things were kind of crazy. It was a lot of chaos in the house. Um, and so, you know, stress in general, I think, leads has always led me to just kind of eat whatever, comfort food. You're eating on the fly because you're, you know, running out of time or you're meeting this person or somebody's coming over to do the flooring or do some type of mitigation. And I really just... Um, stayed focused and knew that I had an investment in this and in my body and it, you know, just decided to, I had made that commitment and I wasn't going to give up. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very cool. So, so it was, I mean, obviously you invested in your health, you'd made the commitment. What, um, 
did as far as like keeping that commitment strong, were there things mm -hmm. that you did to kind of help that in the beginning or throughout the process? What was what things did you find kind of helped you keep that commitment strong? Um, you know, the daily mindset work, I think, um, is very helpful. Um, for me, also, it was financial. I knew that I had made a financial commitment to it and I was going to see it through. Um, and there was no giving up. I, you know, I got I was pretty did not feel well about a weekend, had some stomach things going on. So, I mean, I was really like, do I need, you know, should I be doing this? This is the right thing for me. Is it really going to be worth it? And I just kept telling myself that it was going to be worth it, that there was going to be good things on the other side of this. And if I didn't do it now, when was I going to do it? You know, I, I just needed to stick with the plan. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. So, so obviously you, you, again, that, that financial investment, but also yeah. reviewing your, your mindset work and, yeah. um, and tell maybe just for, for those who kind of maybe don't know what that is or just starting, what, mm -hmm. what was that for you? What was kind of the mindset stuff that you were reviewing? Um, just kind of some daily mantras that we, in the beginning of the program, you kind of fill out a worksheet, so to speak. And, write down some things that you, you know, your goals are and your work is. And through that, I just, you know, came up with this daily mantra in my head of what I repeated to myself or when I was getting ready in the mirror in the morning, I would say the same thing over and over again to myself. So that's kind yeah. of it. <laughs> cool. cool. No, that's perfect. And I think, um, I think that's a key thing. I mean, we can do that with anything in life, but I think that's yeah. super powerful to, to review. And it sounds like you were doing it pretty often, right? Yes. Whether that was like getting ready or just in the morning or something. So you have like constant reminders because I think yeah. sometimes we play, in our minds, we play like doubts or fears or limitations yes. or things that like we are holding us back, like beliefs that like, oh, I can't lose weight or this is terrible or whatever. And so the more we can remind ourselves of our goals and why we want to do this. I think that's really key. So that's awesome. So, okay. So, um, so obviously mindsets, I think was, was key thing. It sounds like for you, as far as just reviewing those goals, helping you stick to it. Um, as you've, as you kind of, you know, the, 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 we have two different phases, the, the yeah. losing phase and kind of the locking maintenance phase, as you were yeah. going through the, the locking phase, um, what were some of the things that you found that, were really helpful for you that helped you? I mean, obviously the mindset we talked about, but maybe mm -hmm. logistical things or other things you found that were really helpful as far as just being successful. In the losing phase? Yeah. Um, for me, it was kind of the simplicity of the whole thing. You know, there wasn't much for me to think about as far as food is very laid out and so you know you have some variations in the proteins and the vegetables and the fruit that you can choose but it's very simplistic and for me that was helpful there's not you know not a lot of other decisions to be made as far as food goes so for me that was you know a very beneficial thing um what else was helpful um hmm i you know i don't I don't know. I can't think of anything else. <laughs> the simplicity yeah. of it all, the mindset work was very helpful to me. Um, and then when I got a little comfortable being able to get, you know, I think you're very um, kind of locked in in the beginning. And then as you go through it a little bit more, you become a little bit more adventurous and like, oh, I'm going to try cooking this with this. And, oh, that'll go with that. And we're in the beginning, which I think is probably good. You're kind of like in this Are you there? All right, did I lose you? All right, I think we are live again. We 
We dropped out there for a second. So, <laughs> oh geez, yeah, I know. I just I, all I saw was see myself. If we can get Nicole back on here. Shoot, we've had all sorts of technical difficulties tonight. Right. So I can hear you. You can't hear me. Let me see if we can get her back on here and. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I hear music. Are you there? See if she comes back on. All right, maybe we can, uh, if we need to, we can end it and we can restart and, and we can have her finish sharing with us. That's okay. too bad. All right. Um, let's see here. Gloria says, I can hear you. Can you still hear me, Gloria? Or can you just hear me, Gloria? It dropped off. Can you maybe leave and join and join you? Okay. Let's see if she's back. Goodness, we are. Gotta love technology. We are not, it's not popping up here. All right, let's see if we can get her back. Okay, it's there trying to pull her in. There I am. Can you hear me? Aha. Uh -huh. I hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yes. Yay! It dropped out. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we are, we are striking out. Oh, Maybe my gosh. Just stay here. That's pretty right. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. So um, I'm not sure. I can't remember where we were at. I kind of lost my train of thought there. You were You were talking about um, things you found success or helping yeah. you be successful in the program. Yes. I felt like in the beginning, the simplicity of the program I felt was very comforting and helpful. It kind of feels like you're just kind of in a cocoon, so to speak. And then kind of as it goes on, you're like, oh, I can do this or this or, you know, come up with a spaghetti sauce because they're all, you know, things that are approved. And so I found that good as time went on. But I, in the beginning, to me, it was the simplicity of the program. Yeah. Cool. Cool. So, so was there something that you found or maybe one or two things that were like your favorite that you like learned to make or you adapted things you liked before type of thing? Um, I love spaghetti squash, <laughs> um, which I kind of always liked it, but obviously didn't eat as much as I do now, but I love spaghetti squash. And I eat zucchini with just about everything. Well, not everything, but I eat it quite a bit. So yeah. Cool. Very cool. Awesome. So, so having fun with food, it sounds like, yeah. uh, you're really experimenting and, and branching mm -hmm. out and it is, it's so simple to follow, which makes it so easy. You're just, you don't even have to think about it. It's like autopilot, yeah. especially when like life, you know, 
floods your house. <laughs> yeah. You have all sorts of stuff going on. It's yeah. like nice to not have to think about anything. You just say, right. I know what I'm going to eat. Or I mean, yeah. relatively, you got to, mm -hmm. you know, make it fun and stuff. So, okay. So uh, anything you kind of like saw along the way for yourself, like aha moments, things that you like learned about yourself, had to break through anything that, that, you know, you kind of learned that way. Um, you know, I learned that, you know, I knew I was always very determined, but, you know, especially where diets are concerned or eating different ways of eating. Um, I felt like I always let, gave myself an easy way out, you know, like you go along and you're doing well and then you're like, Oh, well you can have this or you can have that cookie or you can have that milkshake. And then it just kind of spirals out of control. Um, I found, you know, I really realized about myself that, you know, I can do it. You know, it is doable. It is something that is accomplishable and can be done. And I can do that. Um, I also realized probably, you know, about maybe three or four weeks in, probably more towards three weeks in that I really started to see a change in, um, you know, pain in my body. I had uh, shoulder surgery towards the end of the year. And um, I was in, you know, went through physical therapy, but still had a lot of pain in my shoulder. Um, just constant ache all the time. You know, I was eating ibuprofen, you know, ridiculous amounts and just trying to deal with that, you know, trying to make it better, trying to do the right things, but it always ached. About three weeks in, I really started to see that ache go away. Um, and since about, for the fourth week of the program, I haven't, it doesn't hurt at all, which is just amazing. Um, so that is a big thing for me is just feeling good. And that pain got, is gone away now. Um, yeah. Also, I, I, I was on high blood pressure medication. Um, I do not take that anymore. I've been officially cleared to stop doing that, which is awesome. Um, and also the last about the last year, I started to really struggle with reflux, and I haven't had to take a Pepsid or anything since probably week two of this program. So a lot of good things going on, which also makes you want to keep going. You're like, man, I feel great. I don't have to take those pills anymore. Um, so that really was a huge motivation for me to see it through. Yeah, th those are like, that's huge. Huge. I mean, yeah. those, are, those are huge things as far as, I mean, obviously, being able to get off medication is, is massive mm -hmm. joint pain that or, or shoulder pain from a surgery. I mean, I know what it's like to have pain in, from surgery and it's not fun mm -hmm. and yeah. it makes you stiff and mobility's you know, lacking usually. Yeah. And so, so that's so, so cool. I mean, obviously yeah. reflux is not fun to deal with either. So those are great things that, that yeah. uh, you've experienced and it is, it's motivating. You're like, I feel good. Why would I want to like mess that up? Why would yeah. I want to ruin that? So yeah. And especially with awesome. blood, blood pressure too, every day on the TV, you see a thing where it says, be part of this lawsuit, <laughs> this class action lawsuit <laughs> for blood pressure med medication for people that are in kidney failure or whatever. Like, man, I don't want to be on this medicine. It's terrible. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. It's, it's not a fun, I mean, I, if you watch any sort of commercials, you're like, oh, all the side effects sound crazy. So yeah. um, awesome. So that's cool. And that's the beauty is when you, you know, a lot of times when we try to lose weight, like there are so many different ways, but not all of them are healthy. And sometimes yeah. you don't feel better when you lose weight. But the fact that your blood pressure medication or your blood pressure is improving, your reflux, your joint pains, you know, gone or your shoulder, like that means your body's healthy. It's, it's yeah. reducing inflammation. It's, you know, and, and we talk about inflammation a lot in the program, how it's pretty much the cause of all chronic disease. Yeah. So when you get rid of that, it, it's pretty cool what can, what can start to happen. So yeah. So very cool. Okay. So, so those are some fun things you've experienced. Anything else? What are, I mean, obviously we're down about 25 pounds, which is awesome. I mean, that's fantastic mm -hmm. as far as the number on the scale goes. Yeah. Anything else you kind of experienced as far as results as you went through? Um, hmm. I can't really think of anything off the top of my head down to sizes. Um, you know, not, I can't really think of anything else. <laughs> Yeah, cool. no, those are huge. I, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, those are those are big. I always like to see you know what's going. But yeah, I mean, clothes obviously, and fitting in better clothes, and and 
improvements in overall health and the, the scale is always fun to, to see yeah. that move. So super cool. Those yeah. are, I mean, that's huge. That's, that's amazing to see. So what do you feel like um, maybe for, for someone joining, tell us about like your, the, the hardest part about it and the easiest part or the, your favorite part. Um, the favorite part about it, obviously for me was just starting to feel great, like really feeling good. Um, the second thing that is the coolest is that you see results all the time. So it's not, you know, where there, you know, you have to wait three weeks before you start to see any change in yourself or whatever. No, you see incremental things happen every day. Now I sometimes would stall for a day, but I, then I would start again, but you constantly see results all the time. So that is super motivating to know that what you're doing is actually doing something versus, you know, some other things that we might do. Like I said, it takes three weeks before you'll notice or four weeks before you'll see a difference. No, you actually see these all the time. And so it really does keep you like, okay, here we, you know, I'm going to keep doing this. I see actually see something going on. So. Yeah. Very cool. And what, what's, what's, what was maybe the hardest part about it that, that maybe if someone's joining to kind of like prepare, maybe help them through that. Um, for me, I think the first couple weeks, you know, even though it was very simple, uh, it's just kind of everything that your body goes through was kind of hard. You know, like I said, I kind of, you know, your body's detoxing. And so you're having all these kind of things happen to you. Um, and not snacking in the beginning that is like uh definitely something that's going on in your head you def you don't need the food but you want you want the snack um and so getting your mind right with that in, you know about two after about two weeks you're like okay i'm good i don't need that snack in the afternoon or after i put the kids to bed i don't need to have a cookie or whatever the case might be um you know take that first two weeks for me was kind of rough but you know, I just kept kept at it. You know, I remember calling you, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. <laughs> my stomach is not right. But um, then I realized, you know, you got a lot of things that are leaving your body. You know, I had a pretty serious uh, Diet Coke <laughs> issue or I don't know. It's maybe not an issue, but. Um, I drink, you know, quite a bit of Diet Coke on a daily basis and then just to cut that out completely. Um, and food wise, you know, I didn't, I wasn't a terrible eater, but, you know, just getting rid of all that fat and things that are in your diet that we don't necessarily always realize that we're ingesting, you know, it does, it does do something when you stop do, taking all <laughs> that stuff in. So, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Absolutely. And that's a, it's pretty, I mean, for most people, I mean, it's, your body's just got to get healthier. So, yeah. so that's cool. So as you, you mentioned snacking, I know that's kind of a hard mm -hmm. arena for people in mm -hmm. general. What yeah. were some of the things that helped you kind of that, those first couple of weeks kind of break through snacking <laughs> or, or maybe what'd you learn about snacking? First. Uh, it's it's all in my head. I learned that, um, and li I li really just chugged water. <laughs> Whenever I felt like I needed something, I need more water. I need more water. I need more water. And so I really was just whenever I had that pain or hunger pain, or my brain was telling me to go find something to snack on, I, I would just drink water. And really, that's how I got through it. <laughs> just drank a lot of water. And I realized if I needed something sweet, um, you know, I found these, those sparkling ice drinks that if you're just tired of water, you can have one of those, you know, there, there are ways to get through it. And, you know, I was kind of worried about the snacking, but I still, I think it's just something that you've got to work through in your own head because I still am good with not. So not saying I never will again, but for now I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's huge. I think it, I know for me, I love like snacks and treats and it's, it's all up here. It yeah. really is like my body doesn't need more food. It's more like I'm bored or I'm stressed mm -hmm. or I, I just like, I've created a bad habit that every day yeah. at three o'clock, I, you know, whatever. So, mm -hmm. um, so, okay, cool. So drink lots of water, get drink some sparkling water. water, something like just, 
commit to it, review your goals. That I know you mentioned that before. So yeah. awesome. And one thing I found was really good. And you know, we taught if you absolutely have to snack, eat a free vegetable. Um, and not that it happened very often, but if I ever got to that place, I would eat a pickle and that was good. <laughs> Pickles yeah. are good. <laughs> yeah. And and so, okay, let me ask you that because some people listening to that might be like, I don't want to eat pickles and vegetables. Yeah, when I'm snacking. Like, <laughs> like, I, I want my, want, I want my treats. I want my yeah. whatever. Like, like, so I guess like, cause some people don't want to give that up for you. Was it, I guess the, I mean, one way to ask it, I guess would be, was it worth it? Like, was it hard? Was it like just to snack on vegetables? And like, sometimes that sounds so miserable, but like, like speak to that a little bit. I think for me, it was, it's just something that you got to get used to like everything else. Like I said, the first couple of weeks are a little bit difficult, but then after that, it's, you don't even really think about it anymore. And your body, you know, is, telling you to eat the bad stuff because obviously, you know, it's not what it needs, but your brain is telling it, go get the sugar when your gut is like, no, no, no. <laughs> um, but, you know, sometimes you do need a little bit, you know, you think you need sweet, but I've decided it's salty. And so I've convinced myself that pickles are where it's at. So <laughs> I eat the pickles. <laughs> yeah. I agree. Do you, do you have a, do you have a favorite brand of pickle? Um, I forget what they're called, but uh, you can get them at National Grocers and they come in a plastic tub and they're somebody, they look fairly homemade. There's actually big chunks uh, of garlic and dill in them. And I forget what they are called. Oh, yeah, I can't remember. I, those are my, those are my favorite as well. Yeah, they're big I, I can't remember the brand. They're like, yeah, they cut them into like fourths yeah. or something, big long skewers. Yeah, they're super, super good. Those are, those are my yeah. favorites. So. Yeah, yeah. Cool. And I agree. Whenever I'm like craving something, I'm like, what can I have right now? I'm like in the fridge looking, I'm like, ah, oh, I should just get a pickle. And yeah. and like, it's gone. It's amazing how yeah. just even that little crunch or yeah, anyway, it's, it's a, it's a good thing. Yeah. So I usually go to water first and then, you know, if that didn't yeah. do it, then I'll go grab a pickle. <laughs> yeah. Cool. I, th I think that's great advice for anybody, like not even on the program. Like if you're, yeah. if you're struggling with like food problems or weight gain, like drink more water and eat mm -hmm. fine snacks like that that aren't necessarily going to like destroy your body. So, yeah. so yeah, so that's good. So, okay, cool. So if you were to like, say somebody's joining the program and they're going through, like if they're just starting out, what's, what's kind of your like advice? What would you say to them if they're just starting out being like, okay, I'm watching Nicole, like she's seen some great progress. She's, you know, like what would be kind of your words of advice? That, I'm just like you, you know, I was skeptical. I was sitting around wondering what I should do, how I could, if I could do it, whatever. And I'm just an ordinary everyday mom out there and I'm just like you. And if I can do it, you can do it. Um, it's all in your head. It's all a mindset. Yeah. It's tough at times, but it's worth it. And you, you know, anybody can, meet their goals or whatever your goal, whether it's five pounds or 50 pounds, um, everything's accomplishable. You know, you just have to put your mind to it. And the program is very simplistic in what it is that you're required to do. You're not, you know, it, you're doing things the healthy way. I was just having a conversation with a girlfriend the other day and she was just like, you know, that was really fast that you lost the weight. And I said, well, it was, but you know, <laughs> would it be more healthy if I had replaced a meal with a shake every day? And then when I'm done, I get rid of the shake and start eating that meal again. Then what happens? You know, I'm, I was actually nourishing my body with good food. And so, I mean, how can you really fault that or go say that that isn't the right way to do it? You know? So mm -hmm. you just commit yourself to a certain amount of time and you can do it. It's, it, it really is a blink of an eye. Um, you know, sometimes when you're in the middle of that week three, sometimes you're like, oh boy, this, yeah. I don't know, but you can do it. Anybody can, if I can do it, you can do it. Yeah. Awesome. I think that's great advice and great insight. And, and I, I love that you spoke to the idea that a lot of people, um, they think, oh, 25 pounds or like, I mean, we have people lose less than that. We have people lose more than that. Right. Everybody's a little bit different in how much you have mm -hmm. to lose, but everyone's always like, oh, that's too fast. But what's really interesting is Two twofold, I think that's really interesting. One is the gold standard of medical um, 
weight loss is to do the lap band or like a surgery right. and they lose weight just as fast. And that no one, no one bats an eye at that number one, but number two is how can it, how can it be unhealthy or how can it be wrong if your blood pressure is normalizing Mm -hmm. your joint pain is decreasing, your, like, like your health is improving, uh, you know that your body's getting healthier, which is kind of the key there. So that's, I think that's the, I mean, obviously you're dropping the weight, but like your whole health is improving. There's only one way to, to drop your blood pressure other than medication and is to get healthy. That's really the key is drop that inflammation. Yeah. And so, so yeah, very cool. And okay. You gotta so look at oh, it. go ahead. You gotta you got to look beyond the weight too. You know, for me, obviously that's a byproduct of what was going on in right. my body, but really, you know, you need to make the invest, make the investment in yourself now before you have to make a bigger investment later on with, you know, some massive health problems. So it is, you know, look beyond the weight a little bit. And for me, you know, yeah, I had a number in mind, but I really wanted to feel better. And you know, the weight does come off when you do that. But, you know, for me, it was a lot of just feeling better overall. So. Yeah. Well, I think that's the key. I mean, the reason why we gain weight in the first place is because our bodies aren't maybe soup the way they should be. They're not as healthy or they're dysfunctioning or imbalanced right. and you fix that. And, and weight loss is, yeah, it's a total byproduct. It happens of getting healthier, but the key is to feel good, to have energy, to, you know, have more mobility and, and, you know, whatever it is that, that people right. are, you know, energy, all sorts of things. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, I think you're right on with that. I mean, the key is I always say, if you want to lose weight permanently, you got to get healthy. If you want to get healthy, you got to think and live like a healthy person. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the key, which you've done. I mean, you've done some, some amazing work as far as changing mindset and thinking through things and really taking control of that. So that's, that's amazing. So F really fantastic and you look great i was just oh, mentioning thanks. before we even started your skin is like glowing and, and you look you look fantastic so uh, I feel good. I mean, it's a, yeah it's great and and uh it's definitely showing it's another good byproduct of uh yeah. getting healthy so that's fantastic so so okay so to kind of round things off speaking of like talking about investing if someone were watching this that maybe weren't part of the program or if mm -hmm. someone was like okay is this really for me or because a lot of people hear these numbers 20 to 45 pounds in six weeks and they're like i don't know is that really right. even possible yeah um, yeah if you had like a, a group of people or a, not necessarily someone in particular but like a type of person that it, maybe they're watching this that you feel like would really benefit because you've seen some good benefits i mean if there was a type of person that um, might benefit from this? Who, who that, who would that person might be or that, that type of person? I think it's the type of person that would be, I, I think anybody would benefit from this information really. Um, it's a healthy lifestyle. It's a healthy way to eat. And yeah, it's about, um, you know, as you move forward, I'm kind of in the maintenance phase now, but it's about, um, moderation and, you know, maybe not necessarily if you are at a wedding and you want a piece, it just have half a piece of cake, you know, and then eat on plan, you know, eat like you're supposed to eat the following day, you know, make sure that you get in that water. So it's a, uh, excuse me, it's a sustainable lifestyle for sure. Um, and, you know, as far as the investment goes, I think um, he, you need to, just decide what's important for yourself. It is hard. It can be hard. You know, um, families have budgets, families have things. And sometimes we don't realize, you know, you're like, I don't know where I would be able to make that kind of investment. I, I think you just have to do it. You know, obviously you want to make sure it's a sound decision for yourself and your family, but I think you just got to do it for me. I just looked down the road and thought, if I don't do this now, I'm going to be paying far more later on, you know? Um, and like I said, I'm, I'm just a normal everyday girl and you know, um, there is success out there. You just have to make the commitment to do it and it is worth it. It's completely worth it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and I think you're right. I, I think I even posted a quote the other day that was like something to the effect of, uh, if you don't make time for your wellness, you're going to be forced to make time for your illness. Yeah. Right. And you, you're going to, you're going to pay for it sometime. I always say, yeah. so I think absolutely. I mean, now is the time and, and it's not just, you know, there's obviously some financial investment and we do coaching. I mean, it's, it's mm -hmm. a, you know, probably with the most yeah. robust weight loss program out there <laughs> as far as what's, what's included. But 
um, you know, there's a little bit of social, like maybe yeah. awkwardness, or you got to make some investments or some, some, um, you know, like emotional investments and in being committed to this and, and maybe letting go of desiring certain foods and, you know, that snacking or whatever it is, like you have to be invested to make that commitment in those ways too. But again, if you're not invested now, like you're going to be forced to, to pay for it later. So, um, so awesome. I think that's great advice. Fantastic advice. Also, we just had a, a comment. Gloria a Keller Spencer says, "Great work, Nicole." <laughs> a little party party explosion. Love so, you, Gloria. Uh, <laughs> so awesome. So okay. So um, I think that's fantastic advice. I think uh, you you've seen some. I mean, great progress, obviously, but just really sound advice for somebody joining the program is, you know, sticking to that mindset. I think has been kind of a. a, a something you've mentioned multiple times and, and being willing to commit and realize what you want in life. I think that's, you know, the, yeah. the, that kind of those goals. And I think that's something that's been helpful for you. And, you know, you've seen a lot of really cool things, which is really, really cool. So um, and too, very cool. Real quick. I was going to mention this and I forgot, sorry. Um, you know, with all the other, you know, weight loss or health, you know, regimens that are going on out there, the commitment, to time is far more, you know, to lose what I lost, let's say on another program, it, it would probably be four months or five months, you know? And so for me, it was great that it's so condensed and, you know, beneficial for you and your body. And I was able to see those health benefits in a much faster time than I was if I was on any doing anything else where I was paying for shakes or paying a monthly membership or whatever that was, you know, you're, it's a very concise amount of time and, you know, it's a lot less, you know, it's a lifetime commitment, but you see your results sooner, which is very good. Yeah. I think that's huge. I mean, so many people, it takes them, sometimes they never lose it, but so, right. you know, it takes them months or years and they can't, yeah. you know, they, they barely reach it. I think the average, I was looking at it, watching one of those commercials where like the person's, mm -hmm. you know, they, so and so lost Tiffany lost eighty pounds, and then the asterisk at the bottom is like average is twelve pounds in twelve weeks, and I'm like yeah. we see twelve pounds in like ten days, you know, yeah. or something like whatever it is. So yeah, um, yeah so but I think you're right. The, the results are fun to see, you know, very quickly, and, and it's motivating. Progress. It's motivating. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah, it's huge. If you're not seeing results, you're like, well, I might as well have pizza anyway, like, <laughs> right. like you know, whatever it is. It, What's so, one day? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And and the, the you know something you said is it's a it's a lifelong investment but I think this is a uh, kind of a platform if you will like a, a springboard to to yeah. take control very quickly but even like you said like it's about being in control because if you go let's say you go to a party let's say you go to I don't know some event and mm -hmm. rather than eating the whole cake choose to eat half the cake and get right back on I mean that's you're only one choice away from just being right back on and so many times we have this dieting mentality where we we get off and it's over like, Oh, I might as well just give up and start next month yeah. you know, or whatever. But, but having that commitment long-term to your health goals of just saying it's a daily, you know, daily thing that I have to create health. And I think that's huge. So. Um, and as, as you go through too, you see what your body does, you see, you know, everybody's body reacts differently on the weight that they lose. I was pretty consistent. I'd go, three days, you know, a pound a day, and then I'd nothing for a day. And then I'd go three days, lose three more pounds. And then now that I've been on maintenance, I saw my fluctuation and I kind of can see how, you know, you can sustain that long term. Like you, I kind, you kind of get to where you see what eating does to your weight and, you know, how it affects you and what you need to do to kind of keep it in line. So it gives you great tools for long term. Um, you know, I'm already like in my head thinking like, <laughs> how, you know, come Christmas time, I'm gonna be able to get through Christmas dinner because I'm gonna be on, you know, I'm gonna eat well before and then I'll eat well because I love to cook for my family. I love to entertain. I love to bake and I don't want to stop doing that. I just need to be smarter about how I do it. Yeah. And that's the key. I always, and we've talked about this before and we'll keep talking about it, but yeah. I always tell people you can eat like delicious things and you can have the pumpkin pie and you can, we make a pumpkin pie every Christmas, but yeah. it's being smart with the ingredients. It's learning how to do it a different way. And, and as long as you're conscious of that and, and yeah. making sure you're, you know, making those good choices and preparing beforehand and, and being smart and being in control, 
I think, yeah. you know, that's the beauty is you always have kind of a plan to come back to. You yeah. know, you always know like, okay, if I eat this, it's going to affect me this way. But as long as I get back, it's going to drop back down. And it's very sustainable long term. And that's, I think that's for, that's the only way I've been able to do it. I don't right. want to like kill myself in the gym all day or eat chicken right. and broccoli. Me only. either. Yeah. I don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, not fun. So, um, well, very cool. So any, as far as like, if someone were joining the program or someone was thinking about it, like any last words before we kind of end off here that you'd, you'd share with them, any last advice? I would just say, you can do it. You can do it. Like, that's what I needed to hear. I needed somebody to tell me that, you know, I, and I needed to believe in myself that I was worth it and you're worth it. You know, your health is worth it. You've got to take care of you before you can take care of everybody else in your life. You know, I have two children that I have a daughter in college and then I have a son that's going to be a senior. And then I have a little guy that just turned nine yesterday. And I'm like, I need to have that same energy and vitality that I had with the older two when he is that age. So you're worth it and make the investment in yourself. Yeah. Fantastic. I think that's huge. I think that's, yeah. that's such sound advice to, to really, to, I mean, believe it in here because so many times yeah. we don't, right? Mm -hmm. So many times it holds us back and make that investment in yourself and, and really yep. believe it. So awesome. Well, Nicole, thank you. I mean, I, I think you've shared some really great, insights great wisdom things that'll help anybody who who may watch this um you know especially those going through the program to really see success so fantastic nicole and and congratulations to you um Thanks. just amazing amazing progress and amazing progress that will keep coming that's the beauty is the longer we do this the, the more our bodies heal and they get better and, and healthier and that's the amazing part so very very Perfect. cool i appreciate you you being willing to join us and i know we we finally got on and it was a little later than we planned but it worked I'm and so we're sorry. glad to do it so <laughs> yeah no it's, not, it's totally fine so i I'm, i appreciate you being here nicole and anybody who is watching this who maybe has questions or you know is going through the process or whatever obviously reach out to us reach out to me i'd love to to answer any questions for you and and uh post the comments below let nicole she did fantastic job and uh nicole thanks again and Thank you, uh you everybody. and i obviously will continue working and okay everybody have a good night we'll see you guys later yeah see you nicole well, thank you jared and we'll okay bye-bye okay. see ya